Where do you think medical imaging technology is going to go from here? Are we going to find, um, are we going to refine existing methods or find some new way of looking inside of it? Well, it's very easy to say we'll refine e existing methods because obviously that's what we do all the time. If you were in medical imaging at the moment, what you would be turned on by is wedding these uh, different uh, ways of looking inside the body together. So people get very excited about building uh, a positron emission scanner uh, and putting a CT scanner alongside it or a CT scanner with a, medic a nuclear medicine scanner and wedding them all together. Flavour of the month at the moment, just been announced by Siemens, is that you can put an MRI machine with a PET machine. It's interesting it's wonderful it's technologically wonderful but it's not a big step forward in in the sort of scientific uh, point of view where is it going in the future certainly the technique that i showed you at the end is having profound implications for how we think about um, consciousness and perception but again that's not to do with the technology of the scanner which is what i think you're asking about and i don't think i can answer that because i think we're waiting for a bright young person like yourself to come along and maybe build us an x-ray lens or maybe find some other really neat way that we can uh, exploit nature and see uh, something else about what's going on inside our body so please uh, keep me keep me posted so with, when you're doing um, mri you're using magnets and magnetic fields so i know that you aren't supposed to have anything metal when you go into the MRI scanner. That's right. But what about things um, like, like people have wires in their teeth, like retainer wires and things yes. like that. Does that mean that people with these things can never have an MRI scan? Or are there, like, what happens to the metal and what can be done about it? Yeah. Mostly these uh, materials that we talk about are made MRI safe. And that just means that they're probably made of um, very high grade steels that are not very easy to magnetize anyway. So that's point one. I've had an MRI scan, I've got a metal um, plate in my hand. If it's fixed very firmly, the only danger of these metal objects is that they get dragged into the core of the machine. And if that means they get dragged into the core of you, then that could do serious damage. But if they're fixed firmly enough, then that'll be okay. If you go into an MRI scanner, you will be screened religiously for all kinds of metal fragments and pacemakers, uh, simply because if they're loose, they could fly into the machine and cause the machine damage. Um, you said that in some way it is possible to um, know the thoughts of the um, person if you um, see the brain. Do you think it will be technologically possible um, to control thoughts in the future? or Technoli Technologically possible to uh, control, um, control thoughts? thoughts. Yeah. Well, that's a very interesting question. I don't know about control thoughts, but certainly there's a group uh, that work at Aston University at the moment that are using strong pulsed magnetic fields to send pulses into the brain and they can do things like knock out a certain part of the brain, stop it functioning. So they can target the part at the back of the brain which you use for seeing and they pulse it and suddenly you're blind and you stay blind for a few seconds and they can do that for the part of the body that would enable you to move your arm and suddenly you're paralyzed for a few seconds so yeah you can control the brain uh, in fairly crude ways at the moment but in principle there's no reason why you can't start telling it to do things with hardware from the outside i, I don't know where that's going sounds pretty scary though <laughs> <laughs> yeah true